This week, it was revealed that hundreds of additional surge beds, which were made available to health boards across Scotland last winter, continue to be occupied. And the Vice President of the RCEM, Dr John Paul Lockery, said that every hospital in Scotland just now is under the cosh. This shortage is a direct consequence of the Scottish Government's own actions. Our hospitals have 4,000 fewer beds compared with 2010, and we know who served as Health Secretary in that period. It is simply unacceptable. We cannot normalise our NHS being in a perpetual state of crisis. So what is the First Minister going to do to address this crisis, the crisis in staffing and capacity across the NHS, and take action, something that the current Health Secretary seems unwilling or unable to do? First Minister. Well, most recent Public Health Scotland's uh, annual figures show, in fact, that average staffed acute beds uh, have actually increased uh, compared to the previous uh, year. We also have uh, more beds per head of population uh, than England uh, does. Uh, there is huge pressure on our National Health Service, but we continue uh, to support it through investment, through recruitment and through work uh, with the National Health Service. Uh, to hear a Labour member though talk about bed reductions in the National Health Service is a bit galling. Um, in the last, I think just the, the seven years or so uh, of the last time there was a Labour government in this uh, parliament, there was a reduction in beds uh, of Scotland of 5,425. Uh, oh uh, so that does indeed include non-acute beds, but the rate of bed reductions, which at the time, of course, it was justified for many reasons, including reducing length of stay in hospital. But many of these reasons, of course, still apply now. Uh, so I think Labour should perhaps check the facts and check their own history uh, before they make criticisms of this government. Uh, you were a minute. Question of